Okay, so let's continue. Hopping off somewhere, Lisa. Yeah. I thought I'd take Choco for a walk. Not like the cutest dog. I mean, aside from my dog, my dog's the cutest dog. Why don't you take me with you, Hop Hop? I'll use some magic so only you can see and hear me. Okay, you can ride in my backpack then. Welcome to Hopper's Info Corner. I've cast some magic on the people in town. Now you'll have a chance to meet with all kinds of folks. And good things may happen during our walks. Hop, hop. Yeah, this sounds like stranger danger. What are you mumbling about, Hopper? Mm, nothing, Hop, hop. What's with her today? Like, for real, like, in the last episode, that rabbit was, like, homicidal and demonic. Now it's, like, not telling her what it's up to. I would be seriously frightened for my safety if I were Lisa, just saying. Touch where you'd like to go. Hmm. Um, let's see here. I think the stars represent how many people are in each place, so I'm gonna go with Poplar Street. And then that's the place! Lady One. Oh, Lisa! Hello! That reminds me, I've seen an unfamiliar fellow hanging around here lately. Oh my god, like, did I not just call it with stranger danger? You be careful, okay? Lady Two, he may be a stranger, but he's also kind of cute. Really? I think he probably moved in there. What? You mean with... I think so. Oh, then that's okay. I know! <laughs> That's right. Oh, and then she... Really? Wow! <laughs> like, for real, like, we were just saying Stranger Danger a minute ago, but apparently Stranger Danger goes out the window if they're cute? Like, what the fuck kind of message is this? It's all true! That's amazing! They just keep going and going and going. Come on, Lisa, let's hop on out of here. Woof! Yeah, good idea. Dot dot dot. A mysterious gift. Excellent. You got a new rice chest. Like, okay, for real. They go on a walk down the street. They find a mysterious box. It happens to be a rice chest. Does this alarm no one? Apparently only me. This chick's name is Carol. Ah, oh, Lisa. Oh, hello, Carol. Hi, Paro. Which means dog. Ruff. Having a nice walk with Carol, are you? Ruff. <laughs> Who is this, Lisa? Carol, we often walk together. She lives around here. She's a little strange, but nice all the same. Huh? The, this pressure. There! Lisa, what's that? <gasps> it can't be! What? You mean this? Just a stuffed animal. You've seen it before, right, Carol? Oh, please, Lisa, tell me the truth. Um, that is the truth. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, be that way. I have ways of finding things out, you know. Phew. Let's go, Paro. <laughs> Yeah, okay, that was my attempt at a snoring sound. That really sucked. Paro, come on, wake up. I don't want to be stuck here for three hours again. Okay, Carol, we're leaving. See you later. 
S saved. Hop, hop. She was a little too much for me. Another gift. Excellent. You got a new pot. Okay, so not only did she find a random ass rice cooker on this walk, but also a new pot. Fluffy rice omelet, lesson three. This is your third lesson, isn't it? Give it everything you've got. Are you ready? Aye, aye, Captain. I mean, as ready as I'll ever be. Well then, let me introduce the menu for this lesson. The main dish this time will be rice omelet. That is not how you spell omelet, I don't think. Maybe. I thought there was E-T-T-E -E at the end. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll also make custard pudding and coleslaw. Hold on, my doggy wants in. Hi, Fluffy. You want a piece? Here, I help you. Mm, I give you a piece. Alright, darling. Okay. Oh. Here you go. Sorry about that, guys. I had to let my puppy dog in the room. Okay, let's continue. Ta da! Ooh, those are cute. That one has a lemon, two tomatoes, a garnish, ketchup, and a strawberry. I might be able to remember that. Maybe. Time for you to try, then. Let's start cooking! First, you need to gather all your ingredients. You can find everything you need in the fridge, blah blah blah. We know the drill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Onion, green peppers, eggs, milk, chicken, butter, cabbage, and carrot. Ooh, this one has a lot of stuff. Okay, so there's the onion, bell peppers, eggs, Hmm, there's a carrot, cabbage, um, milk, chicken, and butter. Cool. Start with the custard pudding! I've made the caramel sauce for you. So you can make the pudding base first. Let's make our pudding base. Dude, it starts with eggs, that's hella gross. We have eggs in a bowl here. Next, beat the eggs without making it foamy. Um, okay, I'll try. Add sugar. Mix well. Stir slowly. Whoops. Now add warm milk. Looks like a Werther's original. Put in a vanilla bean. A vanilla bean. Just one. Finally, add cream. That's all the ingredients. Mix well. You decide when to stop. Oh, stir slowly. All right. Mix it for a little longer. Almost there. Keep going. That's the way to do it. I don't feel like it's letting me choose. Stir it slowly. Eh, fuck it. That's perfect, Lisa. Now work the mixture through a strainer. That's it. Dude, it didn't even have me do anything. We have custard cups here with caramel sauce. And the baking pan with some boiling water in it. Now put the pudding base in the cups. Um. Oh, this is so much easier than Cooking Mama where I, like, inevitably spill it everywhere or don't have the right amounts in the cups. This is, like, pre-measured. Thank God. Alright, let's move on. Finish it off in the oven. Touch the oven. Baking pan is hot, so be careful. Bake the custard pudding in the oven, but first you have to set the timer. 30 minutes. Ding. 30 minutes have passed. Ding. Our custard pudding is done. Now we have to put it in the fridge until it's well chilled. It looks nice and chilled. Yeah, it's also in a cup. Time to take it out of the cup. Woo! Custard pudding, dude. Now I want pudding. This always makes me hungry. Next, make the coleslaw. First, put, cut the cabbage and the carrots. Touch the knife. Be careful. Shred it. Mm. 
Yeah, that's how you shred cabbage. Carrot sticks, yum. Well done, that's how you thinly slice carrots. Next, mix together the dressing ingredients and the diced vegetables. Cabbage leaves, and the carrots, and the vegetable oil. Raisins, what the fuck? That salt the taste? Like for real, who puts raisins in coleslaw? I've never had coleslaw with raisins in it. Vinegar to taste, just the right amount. Pepper to taste. Then that's all the ingredients, mix well. Yeah, that just looks like a salad. Finally, make the main dish a rice omelet. First, cut the chicken. Touch the knife. Be careful. Now they should make a vegetarian-friendly version of this. Touch the knife and slide it up now. Ew, the noise is gross. Ugh. Ugh. Even like an animated version of this and like a simulated version of that sound is disgusting to me. Oh my god. Why? Why is this a thing? Don't get salmonella! Next, make the chicken rice to put inside the omelette. Touch the frying pan. Good luck! We have vegetable and blah 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 blah. Chicken cubes! Saute well. Those are like barely any chicken cubes. You saw how much I just cut up. And yet there's like seven pieces of chicken in there. What the crap? Saute gently. Now add rice. Saute gently. Add ketchup. Ew. Why? Like, freaking, why would you do that? Oh god, that's gross. How will we know when it's been long enough? That's the way to do it. Turn off the stove. I guess that's how. You make the rice omelette face. Eggs in a bowl, add some milk, add some salt to taste. There's salt in everything in this. Pepper to taste. See, when I make things in real life, I definitely add way more pepper than salt, but that's just me. Next, make the omelette face. Sure you don't overcook it. Time for the second half of the rice omelet. Give it everything you got. One serving of the egg mixture. Stir it briskly. Next, cook the eggs to make the omelet base. Check how it's doing if you think it's ready. Put the chicken rice on top of the omelet. Next, we have to fold the omelette, first from the top, then from the bottom. Finally, transfer it onto a plate. It looks like a lemon. There, that's all the cooking for this dish. Now, onto what you've been waiting for serving that blah 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 blah. I fucking hate this part, not gonna lie. I'd really rather not have to do this, but oh well. We don't get a choice in the matter. Okay, let's see. Mm, I guess we can keep the white plate. Hmm. Dude! I clicked it like five times. Why is it not letting me do the thing? It looks stupid anyway, forget it. Uh, I saw them with a spoon, so I'll put a freaking spoon down. What the? There's no silver spoon? That's stupid as hell, guys. Why would you do that? Okay. So, I believe there was a couple tomatoes. That's not where they had them, but I don't care. 
there was a lemon on this, I think. No? No? Alright, fine. That's cool, I guess. What the crap else was there? Was there these? I feel like there were. Maybe a potato somewhere? Um... Fuck. No, that's cabbage. We already have cabbage in the other thing. What the shit? Was it? No, there was no lemon on that. Maybe a uh, chopped tomato? No. Well, what the hell? Was it this? Maybe? It did have a lemon. I am positive of that. And this had a strawberry. Hell yeah. I also want to put a flag on top. Yay, flaggy! Okay. Um, we get the bow. Hmm. Let's see. Silver driggy. A mint. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Okay. Yeah, it had that. I did add the ketchup. Now it's gonna tell me how terribly I did. I can tell you did your best, Lisa. I'm gonna get right down to it then. Bon appetit! Gobble gobble gulp. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Crap. Could have done better. Shouldn't have added that mint. You've got the recipe for creamy omelette. So I guess we're gonna save this then. And that is about that. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. And my game is saved. So that's that for this episode of it. So till next time, see ya.